All right. <clears throat> so um, the first question was, why is social media important to companies and to organizations? Why is it important to use social media? Well, as Chris has said in his presentation at the Pontus Foundation, it's important because it's how you build relationships with people. What's that quote by Chris Bergen? Yeah, I love it. It's uh, social media is media not because it communicates, not primarily anyways, but because it extends human relationships. Uh, and that's what we have found in our own experience with at Realized Worth is that we are able to extend the ability to build, to have relationships with people all over the world. It's the only reason why we're here in Bratislava with the great people at Pontus Foundation is because we built connections online. And uh, whether you use Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn, you're able to extend your ability to have relationships with people all over the world. All over the world. And Chris, how would you say that we do that on Facebook? Well, on Facebook, it's interesting because um, actually I think you're better at it than I am. Um, it's a very chatty place uh, and you share lots of interesting things. I tend to be a bit more focused, like on Twitter, 140 characters, I'm sharing a link about employee volunteering and I'm done. I don't, you know, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to talk about your grandmother. But on Facebook, you can get pulled into a lot of conversations and it takes up a lot of time. You, you don't mind that. Right. That's a good difference. On Twitter, you can offer resources, you can show people what they need to learn, and you can connect in tiny sentences. On Facebook, you can have long conversations and build relationships that are a little bit beyond business, maybe yep. with people's families. And that's a little bit extra special. So maybe people on Facebook are beyond business. Twitter is pretty focused on business and resources. And having said that, we have a Facebook page for our business. Mm -hmm. um, and that, so when we take a trip to Bratislava and I take a photograph of Angela, you know, hanging off a cliff or something like that, we get like 30 comments or likes on it. Like, and I think what's really interesting is that there are far more people paying attention to what we're talking about or sharing than we ever think are because normally mm -hmm. nobody's saying anything. Right. You put up a photo about something personal or something interesting or something crazy and then all of a sudden, boom, all, all these people start talking about it and you realize, you know what, the, we're connected. We are connected to all these people even though we're not talking on a regular basis. So that's a great point. Everybody out there in social media is talking about the things your company or your organization is doing. If you choose not to join that conversation, yeah. then that's your loss. The conversation's happening, so on social media you can join it and you can have something to say. Otherwise, you might not be part of a conversation that's about you. Which is weird. Weird. <laughs> now, Twitter, for example, is a great way to share with people really tidy little bits of information. I do have mm -hmm. conversations with people back and forth. I think that's important. Every once in a while, you'll find a brand on Twitter that'll have like 10,000 followers and uh, that brand is only following 70 people. It's bad. It is bad because it says, I'm a one-way talker. I talk to you, you listen. Those people are, remember, it's not about communication. It's about extending human relationships. And if I'm in a relationship with someone who just talks at me and never listens, uh, that's not a fun relationship. I, you know, I run away from that. And I think people, although they follow them on Twitter, they have a sense of, they're not really interested in what I have to say. I'm not making a contribution. I'm not being included in this brand. And that's going to matter. If it's not mattering today, it is going to matter down the road even more as society changes and our expectations change. So the important thing is just to go on and try it, just like you would do in a friendship or any kind of relationship. You just go out and start talking to people. On LinkedIn, just go and connect with a few people that are interesting to you in the business world. Mm -hmm. On Twitter, start having some conversations, putting some resources out there. And on Facebook, try to tell a story about what you or your organization or your company is doing with some pictures and some interesting information. Yeah, it can be a bit more personal and it's fun. So I hope that helps. And uh, follow us on Twitter. We'll find you on Facebook and we'll... Uh, meet each other on LinkedIn for a business conversation. Okay, realize worth.